Hello, everybody. This is your brother, Van Silk at Rock Bottom Sports. Yes, Rock Bottom Sports. My people's down here in Baltimore, Maryland. Set it off. Need them. Little need them. But check this out. Everybody's been talking about the mess that Draymond, Draymond Green and put himself in. Yes, Draymond. You put yourself in a bad, bad, bad situation. I'm going to put my shades on. We're going to talk about it right here on Rock Bottom Sports. You can check us out on Rumble.com. Just hit Rock Bottom Sports. Follow us on Instagram, Rock Bottom Sports. Draymond Green, I spoke earlier today. I'm going to repost it at the end of this about if he's a dirty player. In today's NBA, yes. In the Detroit Princeton days with the Rick Mahorns and the Bill Lambeers and if you was coming up through Carl Malone and the Davises and the Bob Lanier's and the Kermit Washington's, no, you wouldn't have been considered a dirty player. But Draymond, you're hurting the team. You really had hurt this team to the point where you are suspended indefinitely right now by the NBA. According to Yahoo Sports, they said the NBA suspended Draymond definitely on Wednesday after his altercation with Nurek. This is third suspension this year. They give him the John Morant treatment. The league said Green will be required to meet certain league and terms and team conditions before returning to play. It's unclear what that means specifically or how long Green will be left be out. The league took into account Green's repeat history of unsportsmanlike act when determining the suspension. Green suspected to meet with the Warriors general manager, Mike Dunleavy, and his agent on Thursday to start the path of counseling and to help Green move forward. He said in the press conference, I am not one to apologize, but I do apologize to Joseph because I didn't intend to hit him. Newark said that green swing had nothing to do with basketball. Frank Vogel slammed green after the game to calling the move a reckless, dangerous play. After he took hold Rudy Gobert, after he even stopped, Chess. Nobody in sports is condoning Draymond Green's act, support his nonsense. And his play. The NBA got a problem. And the problem is Adam Silver. You made the NBA soft. You came up with a tournament that the only person to understand the tournament was LeBron James. They had to play to the end for point differential. That should be played during the regular season. You let James Harden move to four teams within four seasons. Ben Simmons ain't been playing. Why are these players getting paid? He's not hurt. NBA All-Star game is garbage. NBA 
Olympic team couldn't win. And you, Adam Silver, allegedly, the NBA is trying to shut down Ice Cube Big Three basketball. Where he got former NBA players and legends coaching and playing, and you try to shut him down for advertising dollars instead of working with him. The G League sucks. Players getting paid money that they don't deserve after two, three years in the league. Zion Williams sat out more games than he's played. I don't understand. If a rookie was drafted in one year, he missed a whole year because of injury. How can he be a rookie the next year? You need to get back to the NBA where hand checking need to come to effect. The flopping fouls. The referees are out of control. How are you going to throw a player out the game that's on the bench, the Celtics, Jalen Brown? Chris Paul's having a conversation with Scott Foster. He gets tossed. LeBron James is having a conversation with a coach on the sideline. You hearing everything. Instead of you walking away because they was having friendly basketball talk, you throw the coach out the game. Referees need to be fined. Suspend it for the plays and calls that they make also. NBA is garbage. And that's why, that's why Draymond Green do what he do. The referees don't call walk. They don't call palm in the ball. They, they make late calls. The call against the Suns with LeBron calling timeout when it was a loose ball. And this is Adam Silver's NBA. You are the blame for how the NBA is right now. Draymond Green should have been suspended indefinitely from the chokehold on Rudy Goldberg. Because it seemed like, oh, well, it's a black on black crime. But if that was Luca. Or any one of them foreign players. He would have been suspended indefinitely then. The referees got too much power. Ejecting the superstars of the league out the game when most time they come to visit because the people who are paying to, to, to see these players play and these referees are throwing them out the game. LeBron James complained on damn near every call. I ain't got nothing against LeBron. The league is weak. You're just trying to get the Lakers another ring. They the sixth seed in the NBA right now. They lost to the Mavericks last night without Kyrie Irving. Explain that to me. You got the Denver Nuggets. It's one of the best teams in the league. You got the Orlando Magics on the Eastern Conference. Y'all ain't talking about them. Y'all ain't talking about the New York Knicks and where they're at right now in fifth place in the Eastern Conference. But Draymond Green, I said 10 games. 
Some said 15. Some said 20. You said indefinitely. Definitely could be three games. Four games. That's what it means. That's like the first time Morant got suspended and he went for like two weeks and missed four games and he let him back in and he do the same mess with the gun again. Draymond Green, it's not going to change. He got guaranteed money. What is he, 35 years old? 33, 34, 35? He got guaranteed money. Maybe he don't want to play basketball no more. Don't make it so comfortable for these players. With all this money that is guaranteed, maybe the NBA and the CBA need to get together and stop giving these players guaranteed contracts. Maybe part of their contract should be guaranteed. They need to earn the rest, like in football. Charging the fans all this money, courtside money, balcony money, upper deck money. And half the times, the biggest names don't even play. So if I came to one, if I paid to see Kevin Durant play against the Warriors last night, he didn't play, I should get a partial refund. Because I came to see Kevin Durant. And at the end of the year, when it comes to playoff time, you need to enforce the rule that every star need to play. Stop fudging these playoff one to eight. Because if, this, if Kevin Durant and them just sit out last year, the Lakers wouldn't have been that seed. They would have beat them. But y'all need the Lakers into the playoffs. You got other qualified teams out here. From the Miami Heat to the Celtics to the Philadelphia 76ers, the Dallas Mavericks, Utah, Denver, Phoenix. Who am I missing? Milwaukee Bucks. Stephen A. Smith said something that made a lot of sense. Put the NBA All-Star game in Las Vegas. Nobody want to go to Utah. Nobody want to go to Indiana. Nobody want to go to these dead cities for, the, for, for All-Star. No. Who wants to go to Utah? Who wants to go to uh, 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 Oklahoma? It's Adam Silver's NBA. Either you put it in the major markets or put it in Vegas. But you got the small, the small cities need to make money. The small cities need to make money. They're already making a lot of money. By overcharging for these tickets. But Draymond Green. Suspended indefinitely. But the NBA got a whole problem. There's a whole problem with the Adam Silver NBA. And I'm telling you. i seen it. I'm watching it. And it's going to get worse. Because these players are out of control. They play when they want to play. They skip games on teams that, oh, we don't need to play this play tonight because we could beat them without this player. That's disrespectful to the fans. The whole NBA right now sucks. In the 80s, you get on the injury reserve list, you got to miss three games. You just can't take off a game, oh, I'm good, to, uh, oh, I, I can play the next game. There's going to be no excuse. LeBron need to play all the games. Michael Jordan came back and played with the Wizards. He, he played 82 games. Stop it. Stop babying these babies. And coaches shouldn't be getting fired because of a player. A player should never have a decision on a good coach. Unsatisfied baby player that can't get in and practice. Nate McMillan should have never been fired. Never. Never. 
Draymond Green suspended indefinitely. You brought this on yourself. You deserve everything coming to you. And they need to overhaul the... I can tell you right now, Clay Thompson ain't coming back. That two-year, $48 million, nah. He can go to Miami. He can go to Lakers. He can go to, to, to Philly. Oh, 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 y'all can underestimate Klay Thompson because Steph Curry is not standing up and saying to Draymond, nobody's saying to him like, yo, my dude, you got to cut this out. When Iguodaya was there and I had other players, I bet you they checked him. Steve Kerr, they're not listening to him no more. That time is up. Go check out what I had to say about Draymond. He's a dirty player. Whatever. Go check me out on Rumble.com. This is Van Silk. Rock, rock Bottom Sports. Rock Bottom Sports. Congratulations, Draymond. You have been suspended indefinitely. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> this is Van Silk chiming in this morning. Check me out on Rumble.com, Rock Bottom Sports. Yeah, we're talking about sports. Got the shades up. So listen, Draymond Green. Seriously, brother? Seriously. What you did to Newark last night Slapping him, you know, like, come on, dude. What have you been suspended three or four times already this year? Why don't you just go and join the WWF? Because the last time you got suspended for a chokehold, five games. What do you think they're going to do now? Because what you did was intentional. It wasn't like, oh, he had he had his hand on you, checking you on your hips. And you swung around. Why is it every time you swing around to somebody, you're always making contact to their face? You would have never last in the 80s. <clears throat> Bob Lanier and them, Moses Malone, Carl Malone, the Davis's brothers, they, your dog, they would have knocked you out. It seemed like you pick on the weak guys in the NBA. But I don't like it, man. And, and, and to be honest with you, you need a 10-game suspension. You're hurting your team. And it's time for Steph Curry and all them guys on your team to speak up. Like, you might be the bully on the team, but y'all, you're making the team look bad, man. A lot of, do you want to play basketball? Or you just want to sit here and play a couple games, get suspended, and then knowing that the, the CBA is going to help fight for you on a long suspension? This got to be a minimum 10 games, dog, because you just got off five games. This was intentional. And you say you don't apologize to things that you do? Like, come on, dude. You're not making any sense. You're killing us, man. You're killing your team. That ain't right. That ain't basketball, Draymond. You're smarter than that. But look what you do. You turn right around and you go cause yourself another suspension. This is Van Silk of Rock Bottom Sports. See what Draymond had to say. See what Steve Kerr had to say. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us are getting tired of it. I'm tired. He was pulling my hip and I was swinging away to sell the dog, made contact with him. Um, as you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir. Um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall to sell a call. I don't not fly for it. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip. So I spun away and 
unfortunately, I hit. So, like I said, I apologize to you, sir, because uh, I didn't attend. Have you seen the right one? Yeah. How did it look to you? Man, like, as I've said before, any replay, you know, if I go look at every replay of everything, um, a replay is it's never going to look good, you know, but like I said, I know my intentions, my intentions were to sell the call. Um, and but I also don't think I'm that accurate enough function to do a full 360 and, and connect with someone. Um, so, so unfortunately. Yeah, we need him. We need Draymond, but you know, he knows that and we've talked to him and um, he's got to, you got to find a way to keep his poise and, and be out there for his, his teammates. Coach, last time you talked about Draymond not crossing the line. How, what, what can be done to, to stop this from continuing to happen? Um, we'll keep, we'll keep working. It got to be some point where the NBA really got to do something about Draymond Green. You know, I don't like to see anything happen to these young players, but I always say, uh, that every team need to have a veteran, former player in each city to help navigate a lot of these things because a lot of these coaches, Players may not be listening to them no more. Like, if you had a Charles Oakley with the Warriors, a lot of this stuff would happen, just like how the Miami Heat had Udonis Haslam. You'll have to excuse me. The nose is running through the chemo. But again, this is Van Silk of Rock Bottom Sports. Go to rumble.com, type in Rock Bottom Sports, follow me. Support, hit the notification button. I'm going to be dropping a lot of sports, and we'll be doing some interviews with former athletes and athletes for this channel. Y'all have a blessed day.